guys. So I'm out for a walk. Um, I went to the gym this morning. I got there a little earlier because I wanted to try to record some of my workout. Um, I hit my 30 day mark, you guys, which is so freaking awesome. I cannot believe that. 30 days. 30 days and 29 workouts, which is really, really good. Um, I'm just hoping that I can continue the momentum and keep going. Um, so I went this morning. I did a little bit of lower body, but I didn't do all my cardio that I wanted to do today. So I have to leave a little early because I had to go to the grocery store this morning, go to Walmart rather. And so I had to skirt out a little early. So I only did like 20 minutes of cardio. Um, so I'm out here walking around the block trying to get some extra cardio in. I kind of low-key feel like that's what I need. I feel like I need more cardio. Um, and maybe that way I'll be able to burn more calories, you know, obviously. I walked around the block yesterday three times and it was like 1,600 steps in 10 minutes around the block one time. So... I went around three times for 30 minutes, so I figured since I did 20 minutes um, at the gym on the treadmill, I could do three times around or bring me to 50, 50 minutes of cardio. Um, and so, yeah. And I've been using my watch again, and lately I've been doing really, really good with steps. I've been getting in over, over 10,000 steps. Sometimes I get close to like 12,000, 13,000 which is really good. So far, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good though. Um, I did take some pictures, so it'll be like my 30 day update video. Um, you know, I'll be honest y'all, like I don't see a humongous change on the scale. I don't, but I do see changes physically I just don't see them on the scale at least not like I would love to on oh, my last my last lap and I'm still feeling good so listen I was thinking about something because you know if you've watched me for a while you know that I love to run right and I stopped because I was having issues with my heel my right heel I haven't had issues in a long time to be honest um, that's why I started walking so much is because it was less stress but what I was thinking is I was thinking of running a 5k like I've been looking in my area for some some 5k's there's actually one I want to say next month February uh, one of the high schools are doing one so I was thinking of doing it I mean I know it's nothing compared to like back in the day doing marathons but you know it, it's a good step in the right direction so I figured that could be something I could use to kind of um, you know encourage me to try to start running more it's just that I've gotten so used to walking and it's just so much easier and less stressful um, and there's times I can walk pretty fast you know if I'm on the treadmill I can walk pretty fast um, and I can get a really pigeons, the pigeons and I can get a really good workout in so I'm thinking of training for one for a 5k I don't know it sounds weird does it sound weird you guys do you even have to train for a 5k or do you just go and just do it <laughs> I feel like that because it's such a low amount of miles but I feel like me personally I feel like I would totally have to like train for it. Um, I feel like I would totally have to train for it though because you know I haven't been running. So yeah, that's something I'm thinking about though. But uh, I'm almost done with this. I'm gonna knock this out. I'm back for my walk. I got back like an hour and a half ago. Um, and I'm about to lace up really, really fast. So I thought I would do a little video of me lacing up. Um, I can try to make this quick.
just like that it's done so so we're gonna wear this most of the day now I actually have been um taking it off like literally before I go to bed like I would say these last two days I've taken it off right before I went to bed so I think one day I went to bed at like nine and the other day I went to bed like at 7 and 30 I think it was and so that's what I've pretty much been doing um so I'm gonna keep this on for uh it's 10 30 now and so if I leave it on till 8 30 that'll be 10 hours so we'll take it off um at 8 30 before I go to sleep and yeah so right now I'm gonna go downstairs and make me a quick little breakfast all right so I hope the lighting is okay here because this is where I'm gonna sit so um Basically, what I'm going to eat right now is just three eggs and some leftover potatoes from yesterday. I did sprinkle in some um, some bacon bits as well. You really can't see them, though. I didn't use a ton, but um, I did put in some, some bacon bits as well. Um, and then I also have a, a rice cake just because, I don't know, it kind of makes me feel like I'm eating toast, but I'm not. <laughs> um... And this is a white cheddar one. That's just the generic brand from, um, I want to say, Food for Less. Um, and then I also have a banana. Not a big fan of bananas, but I'm going to try to eat it all. And then I have coffee as well. So I'm going to finish this up. Um, it is 1045 right now. I wanted to be able to share everything that I eat today, but I don't know how it's going to go. But as far as breakfast, I'm eating a late breakfast. And then um, I'll probably have lunch after we get Josiah from school, which is at 2. And so I'll probably see you guys back um, around that time. All right, so I'm about to eat lunch. It's super late. I ain't even going to lie. It's 3 o'clock. It's not even really still considered lunch, but I'm about to eat lunch. Um, I don't normally eat until I get back from getting Josiah from school. We get him back at two and then by the time I got around to making lunch, it's already almost three o'clock. So it's just a chicken salad. Chicken salad, two hard boiled eggs, which I suck at peeling them. So it may not be the whole egg. Um, I have like six cherry tomatoes in here. I cut in half. I have, um, some, um, some walnuts. Um, I have jalapenos, chicken, um, and then I have the cilantro, avocado, uh, salad dressing. It's from Bolt House. And so that's what I'm about to eat right now. There is probably going to end up being, um, probably chicken and broccoli, to be honest. I still have some broccoli left over from yesterday. I have some chicken defrosting now. I thought about throwing it in an air fryer to cook it faster, but we'll see. Um, but as far as now... This is one. Did not eat that banana um, for breakfast. So, yeah, I'm going to try to eat it probably with my dinner. Um, and then I still have Gatorade to drink as well. Okay. You guys, <laughs> I'm sitting here eating already. Like, my food is, like, almost gone. I totally forgot to record. It is 6.15. I'm having my last meal. Um, but basically, I just got... Uh, broccoli chicken and chicken breast and white rice um with no butter and let me tell you how hard it is for me to not put butter on my rice all my vegetables it's hard because i love me some better um the chicken i just use a little bit of uh teriyaki sauce and i put it in the air fryer i did put it in there a little too long but I just wanted to make sure it was all it was cooked all the way through. So I cooked it 10 minutes on each side and then I did it for like three extra minutes just to make sure it was done done. But I think it's a little extra done done. And so I'm gonna finish this. Uh, again, I'm not eating nothing else tonight. Bless you, bug. I've been lugging this banana around all day and it's still here. So what I'm gonna end up doing is probably eating this tomorrow on my way to the gym. Probably with some rice cakes. But I don't want rice cakes. Is I, I, I break them up and put them in a little Ziploc bag. To kind of psych myself into thinking it's more than rice cakes. 
Um, and so, bless you, bug. And so, um, and so other than that, that's basically it for today, you guys. I'm still laced up. Um, we still fully laced. Um, I'm going to probably go upstairs and find something to watch on Netflix. And when I feel like I'm going to sleep, then I'll just take it off. Um. Cause I don't want to. I don't necessarily want to. I mean, I'm not opposed to sleeping with it. I just lately, I just haven't been, you know. And so, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button on your way out the door. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.